Hey everyone, running for the king here. My name is Justin and I am a part-time reseller. I sell out of the shed in my backyard on eBay, Macari, Poshmark, at least I try. And uh, well, this video is about what I sold. Last week I talked about how sales were way down, my number was way down, uh, my my payout was way down. And uh, this week, well, I beginning of the week I listed pretty well and I saw some numbers increase, in fact, uh, I think my my number of items sold is probably close to double at what, what it was last week. Uh, profit, not quite, well, it was over double. It was over double, uh, but not uh, not super huge numbers because I haven't had any su super huge number of things to list. Anyway, this video is gonna show you what I sold this week. Uh, my weeks run from Tuesday to Monday. That's how my week works with eBay with my payouts and everything. So that's how I roll this these videos too. So everything from the 2nd of May on Tuesday through today, when I'm wearing the shirt, uh, which is Monday when I'm recording the 8th of May. And so we're going to run from there to here. It's my dog's birthday on the 8th of May. Uh, you haven't ever seen my dog. She's nutsoid and she's not allowed in the shed. Uh, but because uh, she would just like overly inspect everything, I think would be the problem. All right. So let's jump back to Tuesday. We'll work our way through the week back to today. You can see what sold. I had some really good days and it started to slow down. Coincidentally, when I slowed down listing and then uh, what my weekend sales were as well. And uh, while well, I keep talking, let's go. Hey everyone, it is Tuesday and today is the 2nd of May. It's the very beginning of a new, well, of my new reselling week. And I have six items going out. That is almost as much as I had going out over the weekend. I also have three items I'm waiting for payment for. So hopefully those will come through pretty soon as well. Almost Everything is on the bookcase back there, but I did sell one plush. Let's grab that first. So I picked up several plush at my local thrift shop the other day. They were all anywhere from a dollar to four dollars. This one I think I paid a dollar for. And it is this guy right here. So this is a Ralph Lauren polo bear. He has his little sweater there. It does have a couple pulls there on his on his uh, sleeve. And there's a little bit of yellowing on his collar. I think that's from his fur. But we look at his butt tag. It is Ralph Lauren, 2007. I don't know if they still make bears like this. He was probably pretty expensive, uh, brand new. Picked him up at my local thrift for a dollar and he sold for $9.99 plus shipping. As I was saying, everything else is gonna be here on my bookshelf. I sold quite a few video games and a couple DVDs. They're all right here. Let's grab them as we go. I sold these two History Channel DVDs. One is for the Blowtorch and Hammer, and one is for Glue. And these are both sealed. Picked them up at a yard sale for a dollar a piece. Not great pickups, but they were sealed. I can't say no to sealed DVDs for a dollar. I don't know. This pair sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And the last DVD I have going out today is one I picked up at that same thrift store where I got that bear. And, uh, well, they're a dollar DVD there, so I paid a dollar for it. It is this David Ring DVD, and he's a Christian speaker, he has cerebral palsy, and uh, I remember seeing him when I was a young teenager many years ago, and uh, he was an awesome speaker. Uh, this I picked up for a dollar, it sold for $5.99 plus shipping. The last items I have going out are all video games. And the first one I picked up at the end of yard sale season last year, and it's probably buried. Okay, I think it's hiding back here. So get these books out of the way. It is Dynasty Warriors 2 for PS2. My brother loved this game back in the day. Uh, this I picked up at a yard sale. I think I paid a dollar for it, and it sold on offer for $10 plus shipping. And then I have two games I picked up this last Saturday. I paid $3 a piece for them, so not the greatest like buy-in cost. However, I knew they would go quick because they're Nintendo games. And well, we get them out and I'll show you what they are. All right, the first one is this game right here. And it's in the envelope because it was just in a, well, a generic case. It is Mario 3D World for Nintendo Wii U. And even without the manual, without the case, this sold for $9 plus shipping. And this one, Mario Kart 8 for Wii U. Uh, game disc has a case. Uh, game disc is in there, but no manual. And this is one of the few somewhat modern games that had a manual. 
And this one I picked up at that same sale as the last one. And this one sold for $12.99 plus shipping. So $6 in and uh, what, $21, $22 out. Not great, but quick. I listed these last night and both these sold this morning. So I can't complain on the speed of those sales. My work day is over and I had one sale come in. It actually came in while I was packing this stuff up, but I wanted to wait just in case something else came in too. This is the only one though. It's another video game. It's one I listed last night and I picked it up on Saturday and it is Animal Crossing City Folk for the Wii. Uh, like the Mario game we sold earlier, disc is in good shape. The case has somewhere, but no manual, but that's okay. I got it listed and it sold quick. I picked it up for $3 as well, but when it sells in less than a day, I'll take it. This sold on my Kari for $11 plus shipping, and this is gonna go out today as well. And that is gonna be officially it. Anything else that comes in this afternoon is gonna go on tomorrow's video. And I have now four items that uh, I'm waiting payment on. So hopefully we'll see those go out and they won't get canceled after four days for non-payment. Thanks so much for hanging out there with me today. I'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Well, it's Wednesday, it's the 3rd of May, and I have six items, I think, going out. And I think four of them are things I bought this last Saturday. So that's pretty exciting. One is my best sell I've had in quite a while. Let's grab them. The first one I sold on Macari. It's one of the six video games I listed on Monday night. This is the fourth one that's sold. They're not huge, but they're selling quick. It is Super Paper Mario. And this one... I picked up for $3, which I know is probably way, way too much, uh, but I knew it'd sell fast. I think I had listed for 12 and took an offer of $10 plus shipping. And so that'll go out today. And I don't know if it's the weather warming up or what, but my floors are starting to, to creak more again. I don't, they didn't seem to do that too much in the winter time, but now that it's getting warm, so it's the floor creaking, I promise. Anyway, the next item I sold is a uh, a belt buckle and it's right back here. And I have it wrapped up because I didn't want it to get scratched. It is a Macy Ferguson power part belt buckle. Uh, it's nothing too super fancy. It is brass. I picked it up for a dollar on Saturday and this one sold for $12 plus shipping. The next item is a CD going out and it's one I picked up at Goodwill for a dollar, probably a dollar like 20 or something because the prices are going up a few cents at a time, I think every week. Ugh, anyway, I picked it up it sold, let me grab it. I don't often pick up CDs, but this one was sealed. It had the hype sticker on it. And it's this guy named Dave Allen. I, Alvin, I don't know who he is. Anyway, I scanned it at the store. It looked like it was selling for a little bit more than they were selling it for. So I grabbed it and this sold on offer for $7 plus media mail shipping. Another item I picked up Saturday is a coffee mug. I picked up two actually. I only listed one of them because I wanted them listed one at a time. It's right back here behind my male torso I have hanging there. Give me just a second. So I spotted these at a sale. I picked it up for 50 cents. It's a vintage CompuServe uh, coffee mug in good shape. Probably never been used. This one, I received an offer for $7 plus shipping and I accepted and it's going out the door today. I had one buyer buy two crafting items. They had sent offers on both. I've had them for over, well, almost a year now. So I wanted to let them go. So my crafting stuff such as my cross stitch kits and things are in this box here. I already pulled them out so I could send an invoice with combined shipping. The first item is this cross stitch needlework kit. It has the American Eagle there. The background is blue, which I thought was unique. It is definitely vintage, uh, made in the USA, probably 70s. Most likely it's from around 76, but uh, there's no date on it. Pretty nice. Sold this on offer for $5 plus shipping. The next item is this, it's, I have it folded here in the bag. It is an American Eagle, there's the bottom of it. It is a needlework kit, it's a rug kit, so you can use it, you can make a wall hanger or a rug for your floor. It's on burlap, printed, and this one's from 1974, it is dated. And this one, I also uh, accepted the offer for $5, so we are 10 bucks all in for both items. And uh, it's not surprising they both American Eagle things went. Uh, these are all wrapped in plastic because they came from an estate sale that was a smoker's house. And I tried to get the smoke smell out as much as possible. But you know, some of that's still gonna leach in there or 
be in there and leach out. And so I wrapped them up that way. They didn't make everything else in the shed smell like smoke. Uh, it was disclosed and listing. These are both going out for $10 plus shipping. And I think they paid 50 cents more on shipping than they did on the items together. But hey, they're sold and they're going out. And then my last item, which is the best item I have sold or highest dollar item I've sold in quite a while. And I'm super happy for it. They are right up there in that shoe box. So I was at a yard sale on Saturday and I had a great conversation with the, uh, with the young lady that was selling these shoes and, uh, and her kids. Uh, and I picked up these, uh, these are Nike trail running shoes. They are brand new, perfectly clean on the bottom. They're huge. They're size 12. I couldn't fit in these even if I wanted to. And, uh, well, I paid $5 for them. So I got a great deal. I, I didn't even look them up. I just knew Nike's new trail running, specialized running shoes, they would sell. I listed them super high with offers, knowing that I would come down on the price. And these sold this morning. I took an offer this morning. Payment went through. They sold for $75 plus shipping. And so I'm happy to see these go out. Uh, I may show you that, uh, that yard sale if I can get things edited from Saturday. Uh, I'm terrible at editing yard sale footage and I only picked up like one or two things in each sale, nothing huge, not a huge big sale that we could really hang out at. But uh, anyway, $75 plus shipping, I'm super happy. It's my biggest sale in a long time and it jumped up my average sale price, as you can tell quite a bit for today. And that's gonna be it. I'm gonna get everything packed up and I will see you tomorrow on Thursday. Hey everyone, today is Thursday. It is the 4th of May, so may the 4th be with you. It's Star Wars Day. It's a national day of prayer, so spend some time in prayer uh, too today if you can. Uh, but, uh, and it's the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 release, and so we're going to go see that this afternoon. But first off, I have orders to pull. I have four going out, which is more than I thought I would. I didn't list it all yesterday. I got some drafts ready, but I didn't really have time to photograph or anything. But let's get the orders that did come out out or something. Anyway, they're over here. All four have sold on eBay. The first one that sold last night, it's a set of DVDs. Or I should say it's a bundle of DVDs. It's these two kids movies right here. So I listed these together, oh, more than a year ago, I think. I've had them for a while. And I think I had them listed for 10 plus shipping or 9.99 plus shipping or something like that. Received an offer yesterday for seven and I took it. So these are going out for $7 plus medium L shipping. The next item going out is a craft kit or cross stitch kit set lot thing. They're located right here, goodness. Uh, let me pull this down here. And so this is a set of five packages, 10 patterns total. And their vintage uh, Christmas. There's a baby's first Christmas, season's greetings. Anyway, I uh, picked these up. I think I paid a dollar a piece for them at my local thrift. They had them listed for two. It was half off day, so I'm five in. And I took an offer of $20 plus shipping for these five. And really, I'm just going to put a single piece of cardboard in that vinyl mailer to keep them from being squashed or bent, maybe. I don't know and ship them just like that. I did sell some VHS today, nothing high end. It was a lot that I put together of, well, Western, D not DVDs, VHS, a lot of Western VHS tapes. So Shenandoah, Shootout, Tulsa, The Gunfighters, Smith & Jones, Gray Eagle. Uh, there's a lot of six here. I have 20 cents at most into each of these. So $1.20 maximum, and these sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And the last item going out today is going to be this Bluetooth speaker. I picked it up at a yard sale on Saturday, and I've sold quite a few things that I picked up on Saturday. Isn't yard sale season awesome? Anyway, it's right down here. All right, it is right going to be in here, and it's that can speaker right there. So this speaker here uh, looked like it was completely brand new. I think it is, uh, but it had some dust inside on the speaker itself, so uh, it doesn't seal very well, it doesn't seal at all, really. So I think it just got in there from storage. Anyway, I took the speaker out. I charged it a bit. I played it a bit just to make sure it worked, to make sure it was new. It was. You know, I didn't see anything. But I listed it as open box. I did say that I had charged it and used it to make sure it worked. So, and there is some, you know, some wear on the package. This one I bought in a lot of uh, two Bluetooth speakers and an XM radio. I think I paid 20 for it and a tub, which I'm going to go uh, use on my shelf eventually uh paid 20 this pays for most of it 
Uh, this sold for $18.64 plus shipping. And with a bit of an oddball price, that was an offer. Uh, they asked for me to bring down the price like three or four dollars to help with shipping. And uh, I'm okay with that, letting that go. And happy to see that sale so quick. And that's going to be my four items for today. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get anything out, uh, probably anything else out the rest of the day. Because we're getting ready to leave to go to the movie theater in just a few hours. And I need to finish editing the video from last week. So I'm going to get that done before I go. Thank you so much for hanging out there with me today. I'll see you tomorrow on Friday. Hey everyone, today is Friday. It is the 5th of May. We went and watched Guardians. And it was pretty good. Uh, I don't know why the language on movies, especially ones advertised to kids, and you say this is PG-13, but there's Happy Mill toys, have curse words, including the F-bomb. Not cool. Not cool at all. Anyway, I have six orders going out, so that's pretty great, right? I mean, I was struggling to get one or two last week. I don't want to say eBay's picking back up because, or the fixes are fixed or something like that, because I don't want to, you know, jinx myself or, or anything like that. But anyway, uh, I have six orders going out. I have one on Macari. I have five on eBay. I'm going to grab the Macari one first. It's one of the plush I bought a couple weekends ago. Uh, it's a Scentsy Buddy, and it's down the hall. All right, so I think this one, well, it's either in there or there. I really need to do an inventory and like mark things, but let's try the top one first. And here he is. Uh, it is a goofy Scentsy Buddy, and he does have the Disney smell pack uh, in his backside that unzips, and he's in really great shape. I picked him up for $4. I had him... I say this on everything. I had it listed for a little bit more and I took an offer, but um, well, I had it listed for a little bit more, but I took an offer this morning for $21 plus shipping. And so I'm happy to see him go out. All right, we're back here in the corner. I sold some ukulele keychains. They're up there in this box. All right, so I still have like tons and tons of these ukulele keychains. Uh, let's grab a couple. Uh, that one looks pretty good. And that one looks, uh, that one doesn't look good. Here we go. I have two. Uh, two that are uh, one, a little dark one, and a little lighter one. And those I picked up in a huge box of them for $3 at an estate sale. They are for the 100 years of the Rotary Club. And it was for the convention or whatever in Chicago, Illinois uh, from 2005. And those two sold for $6.99 plus shipping. All right, next up, I have a set of books. It's these 10 books right here. I picked these up at thrift shops, I'm sure. Probably paid 20 cents a book at the most. And there are eight of them here. They are psychology, metaphysical, uh, parapsychology, and such. And this set sold on offer for $15 plus shipping. So if there's what, if there's eight of them, that's less than $2 into 15, not too bad. Those books I've had for quite a while, they're coming out of the death pile and selling. So that's good news too. I did sell a set of CDs. I'm gonna have to dig them out. They're down here. So I had picked up a bunch of jazz and standard CDs uh, from whatnot. It was somebody that had bought a locker. It had tons and tons of music in it. And this set is one of the, well, uh, cheaper sets, I guess. So this is seven classical jazz archive CD sets. Each one has two CDs and a 20 page book, I believe, about the artist. And they're pretty cool. Pick these up. I'm not sure what I paid for them because I bought a bunch of different lots. Not much though. This set here sold for $30 plus shipping. Well, that's four down. There's two more to go. I did sell a coffee mug and it was too big to sit in my shelf back over here. It is actually down here, pre-bubble wrapped, I believe. All right, that one was kind of buried, but it is this one. It's a Churchill Downs mug. It doesn't seem very fancy until you look on the inside and see it's all the printings on the inside. I thought it was pretty unique. I saw it at Goodwill. I think I paid a dollar for it. And this one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I've probably had it listed for five or six months. So I like coffee mugs for some reason. It's like VHS tapes. Uh, if I see a cool one, I'm going to pick it up. They're slow sellers, and you do have to pack them pretty nice, but I enjoy it, so I'm going to keep doing it. The last item I have is something I picked up. Well, I picked up quite a few of them when I first started reselling about three years ago as retail arbitrage. It was not a good pickup, but I'm happy one sold. All right, it's this right here. It's a Revlon Men's Series Multi-Tool. 
and it's like a credit card shaped kind of deal. And it's got all kinds of stuff, nail file, a ruler, a knife, pin, scissors, and uh, pretty neat. I picked it up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or one of those places. I think I pay like 20 or 30 cents a piece of for them. I think I bought like six or seven and I sold, well, this is the second one in three years, but uh, it sold. And that little guy sold for $4.00. And 99 cents plus shipping, so not a great pickup, but I'm happy to see one go out. Well, that's the six items I have going out so far for the day. I'll see you tomorrow. No, tomorrow is yard sale season, and I will not probably be in the shed unless I'm listing in the afternoon. Tomorrow is one of our biggest yard sale days of the year, at least locally. And so there's a huge uh, neighborhood sale, 60 houses so far, and I'm going to be getting there at 630 with my daughter. We're going to be walking a lot. So I won't see you tomorrow, but I will see you on Monday. Hey everyone, today is Monday. It is the 8th of May and I have nine items I think going out, which is not a very busy weekend. Several of the items sold in the last, I don't know, 18 hours. Uh, but I haven't been listing. I haven't listed anything since Wednesday, so I'm definitely not going to hit my goal. I'll show you later. I did sell one thing on Macari. It's some yarn. It's from the first yarn listings I made out of the crafty storage unit, and it finally sold. Nothing fancy, but it's this one right here. Uh, it is a cake of comfy cotton blend yarn. It is cream colored. It sold for $5 plus shipping, and I sold it on Friday afternoon, so Macari has been hounding me and hounding me with emails and notifications if I'm going to ship this or not. I have till the 10th. Today's the 8th, yet I think I'm getting like an email or notification every couple hours now. It's going to go out today. Sold for $5 plus shipping. And speaking of listings, my goal is to get 2,023 listings this year in 2023. Side Hustle Preacher uh, kind of put that idea out there in the Discord chat I'm part of. And so I, I jumped on that challenge. I have 656 unique listings right now. I need 5.6 a day uh, to hit that goal. And that means I need 739 by this Friday. I'm way behind, but uh, I'm going to work on it. I got quite a bit of stuff yesterday at the yard sale. My best item as far as financial is this inflatable. They said it never been used. I know the stakes haven't been used, but it's definitely been out of the box. Even used, that's two to $400 per the comps. And then my favorite item, I got to show you this. My favorite item I picked up is this little sign that says poop deck. <laughs> and I know. It's a nautical term for boats. I get it, but it's going to go somewhere. So I just don't know where it should go over there. It's not very big over here, up higher, lower. I mean, I could put it on the door, but I don't want to screw it into the door because it's metal. Anyway, if you have any ideas for where I should put my poop deck sign, uh, let me know in the comments. The rest of the eight that sold and going out today are all on eBay. And the first one I got to show you is a set of science fiction books. So it's this big stack right here. All right, here they are. Uh, this is 12 vintage science fiction fantasy books. These 12 here sold for $15 plus shipping. Hey, I'm jumping in here from the future. I just showed you those books and that stack. However, I grabbed the wrong stack. I was packing things up and realized I didn't have the same books. So this box I've already had packed up is the actual books. It had Tolkien, still had Frank Herbert in there, uh, had Niven in there. And so uh, these are the ones that actually sold and not the ones that just showed you. I put those back on the shelf and hopefully we'll see them again soon. I said I hadn't listed anything over the weekend, but that's not true. I did list one item on Saturday. It's something I had picked up at, uh, well, at a sale and it's right over here. It's this Star Wars figure two pack with Zeb and Chopper. And the packaging was nasty and gross, so I just pulled it out, sold it new without a package, and this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Uh, Zeb has begun to become popular. That might be a figure to look out for. He was featured as a cameo in the Mandalorian series, and he's going to be in the Ahsoka series coming out in the fall. And I don't think the Rebels figure sold very well initially, so that one may be one to look out for. I sold some more yarn, this time on eBay. It's this giant spool of sugar and cream yarn, and this would probably be pretty expensive in the store, but the reselling value on it is not too much because, well, it weighs quite a bit. And so uh, I had listed this, I think, for $10, and I took an offer of $5.99 plus shipping, and um, it's 100% profit. That came out of the crafty storage unit. That's well been paid for 
and so I'm happy to see it go to. The next thing I have is a, is a board game or a card game or it's a game you play. It's the Shark Tank game. I think I picked it up for a dollar and I wouldn't again, I think I had it initially listed for seven, eight dollars. I'm not sure. And I received an offer and I'm just uh, wanting it out. It's actually, I'm going to wipe it off. It's a little dusty. Uh, it sold for $3.55 plus shipping. And you probably saw it, but you didn't even know I sold a set of glasses and it was sitting right there next to the Shark Tank game. Shark Tank was right there. This is the glass set. I picked these up for, I think, $1.50 at my local thrift on half off day. And they are CarQuest advertising lowball drinking glasses. They have a gold uh, trim across the top lip and they are already pre-packed and in bubble wrap so I'm not even going to open them to show you but you can see them in the photo there's four of them in here and I had listed them for 20 I think received an offer this weekend for $12.50 plus shipping and I took it and these are going to be well they're already in one box I will bubble wrap this again and stick it in another box and I should have no issues with them getting to their destination. I sold some Bible study books and they're down here at the bottom of my shelf here. All right, these are Men of Faith Following God. I think this is like the third or fourth book of the series. Uh, I'm not sure. This is the fifth book of the series. So I picked these up at a local thrift shop. If I bought them at Goodwill, they were a dollar a piece maybe. And if I picked them up at my other thrift shop, they would have been 20 cents a piece. I can't remember. I bought four of them. One's already sold. I had these three still listed separately. Received an offer for all three. And all three are going out for $13.50 plus shipping. We are getting really close to the end. I have two more, except one order just came through. So I have three more. It's an easy one. We'll grab it too. All right, the next one I have to show you is a DVD. It is right here. It is St. John in Exile with Dean Jones. Uh, the plastic wrap has some wear on it, but uh, it's still new and factory sealed. Picked that up for a dollar. It sold for $3.99 plus shipping. I had a set of VHS C tapes sitting in my death pile. I listed them this week, last week, recently. They sold. These aren't anything fancy. They are Panasonic VHS C's, uh, 90 minutes a piece TC 30s. And I think I had them listed for 10 and received an offer of five. And I'm wanting to uh, move some stuff because, because things are coming in and I want to get those listed. I need a place to put those on shelves and such. So I accepted the offer of $5 plus shipping and they're going to go out today. I think I showed on the channel that I bought this Kebabit or maybe that was some of the lost footage that accidentally got deleted a couple weeks ago. I don't remember. Anyway, I bought this Kebabit. It's like a rotisserie oven type thing to make shish kebabs. And uh, it only sells for like 20 bucks as a whole unit, but parting it out sells for much more. I sold the first part. All right, it is right here. Uh, it is the manual slash idea book and the drip tray and cover. And like I said, the whole unit sells for 20 plus shipping. It's just really heavy. Uh, I parted it out and this, uh, these three items here sold for $14.99. Well, that's gonna be it. That's all I have. I got tons of stuff to pack, I feel like, uh, which it's nine items, 10 items, I guess, with this now. And uh, it's not a huge number, but Mondays are crazy for me. As soon as I'm off work, I gotta go. And so, I'm going to try to get this uh, done before my lunch hour is done, or if I'm done off work, I'm going to have to scramble to get them all done. But I'm going to get these out. I just want to say thank you so much for joining me this week as we looked at things. And uh, hopefully you had, if you go garage selling or if you're sourcing over the weekend that you were successful, uh, I should do, I can't point to it. There it is. I should do pretty well with that inflatable. I just have to check if it works. And so if it doesn't work, I don't know what I'm going to do. I pay 10 bucks for it. But if it does work, the comps are two to 400 and it's going to be awesome. It's just going to be heavy to ship, but it's already in its box. I just got to get it back in there. It'll be super great. Uh, so that was a successful thing. I got tons of hats over there too. Uh, and uh, so those should do well for me. At least hopefully it will be quick. But anyway, once again, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day and God bless. Then the other DVD is one I picked up. Uh, this weekend? When did I pick that up? I don't remember.